Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Settle Down Easy's Bourbon Barrel Porter. So this is, uh, like it says, Bourbon Barrel Porter. So it says SDE Brewing Barrel Series number one, but then they label it 10. So we have bottle 10 of series one, I guess, is cool. what that means. It's really cool too, because they have a little thank you, SDE Brewing. It gives it kind of a personalized feel, I guess. Oh. Ooh, it smells good. So the special thing about this bourbon barrel porter is that it's aged in Buffalo Trace barrels, which from my research, because I'm not a huge bourbon guy, um, I have deduced that Buffalo Trace is in fact a brand of bourbon. I didn't know that. A lot of people probably know that, but I didn't know that. And uh, it's kind of highly prized. Um, there's some hype around that particular bourbon. Frank, the owner of uh, Settle Down Easy, was telling me that the barrels themselves are very expensive to buy, so not a lot of people use those, and instead use, you know, the Jack Daniels ones or whatever um, they can get their hands on. So this will be interesting to see if it has a different kind of quality to it. Okay. It smells delicious. It, it does. like a barrel-aged, bourbon barrel-aged beer. It's also got a, like a lot of chocolatiness to it though. Yeah. Like you definitely get that bourbon on the nose, but it's like you get that bitter cocoa kind of smell to it. Let's okay. dive in. Cheers there. Cheers. Oh. Smooth. Yeah. It's really smooth. That's an easy drinking barrel aged beer. There's not a whole ton of carbonation, um, which is to be expected, you know. It, it definitely doesn't taste too rummy. Like that's, I hate that when it's too rummy. Or too bourbony, yeah. Too, yeah, too bourbony. I get a lot more chocolate notes out of this one than a lot of bourbon barrel aged beers that we've had. It's also like lighter in body. Oh, well, lighter than I expected it to be. Yeah. 8.3%, 25 IBU. I feel like the bourbon in this beer really stands out and I can tell that it's quality bourbon. I can tell it's something different for yeah. sure. I don't know what I'm tasting because I don't know anything about bourbon, but you know more about bourbon than I Yeah, do. I mean, I, I drink a lot of bourbon barrel-aged beers and I can definitely tell that. In this particular beer, that bourbon is really, it's really nice. I think if they used any other bourbon, it would have turned out a little too aggressive. Yeah. This porter, like you said, is lighter in body, so you'd want like something really smooth if you're gonna do the, the whole barrel age thing. And I think this like perfected it. This is like dangerous because it's so light that you're just like, yeah, let's just keep drinking. It doesn't taste like an 8.3% beer to me. Even with the pour, even yeah. with the addition of, you know, there's like no alcoholic like twinge to it at all. Right. There's nothing. But you're getting the but muskiness he, of yeah, the bourbon he, and like, the aromas of the bourbon, but none of that like pungent alcohol in the back of your throat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering why they released this basically in the middle of the summer. I mean, it's like 90 degrees out every day yeah. now. But now I kind of understand the reasoning behind it because it's kind of not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's a porter, it's not a stout, so it's not going to be like super heavy, but yeah, it's a darker, it's a darker style of beer. Definitely has a big malt presence like that malt is really tasty and it i think is. that roasted malt combined with that smooth bourbon like i've never tasted a bourbon that smooth before yeah this is this is quite nice and yeah like you said um even though it is hot outside i can see myself drinking this because of its body right i don't feel like i'm weighted down with like stout yeah that's pretty good i'm pretty impressed by that okay yeah well you get a pass from us guys that's pretty damn good. And that coming from a guy who doesn't like bourbon barrel aged anything. It's true. <laughs> it's very true. So there you go. Settle Down Easy isn't that old. They've only been around for less than a year. Like a few months, yeah. really. Something like maybe less than six months at this point. Yeah, they, they, no more than 10 months. There's yeah. no way. And for them to be like putting beers like this out there, 
special limited kind of like handwritten, you know, artisan craft beer basically is what this is essentially. That's, mmm. All right guys, well that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications when videos come out. As always, stay crafty. Cheers.